What's up, everybody? It's Yashua. It's it's Yashua. <laughs> What's poppin', everybody? How y'all feeling? Why am I down here? I don't know. Just kind of feel like it right now. Don't know why. Jack Hawk 9000. Oh my <laughs> That's why. It's the hot kitchen. What's up? Welcome to the hot kitchen ASMR. I am Yashua Bray Style. I came up with this idea and so I'm going to keep it going. And me and the Jack Hawk 9000 are going to show y'all how to cook up some fillets real quick nice and easy smooth and breezy <laughs> but yeah so here in the hot kitchen usually there's a rule <sighs> i'm not gonna tell you what the rule is right now because you're not ready for that yet I'll tell you later on <laughs> but for right now what i am gonna do is because some of y'all are seasonally challenged and I don't mean seasonally like the weather. I mean seasonally like your skills in the kitchen. What is she doing with the seasoning? You feel me? So knowing that, I got to bless y'all with the knowledge. Who would I be if I was just going to let the knowledge go unpassed? <laughs> can't do that, can we? <laughs> no. Um, if you're new to the channel, hi. I'm Yashua. Please subscribe and like because we have we're gonna have a lot of fun. We just there's no alternative. We will have a lot of fun here. I think sometimes ASMR is too dull. Like it, more than dull, not dull because I enjoy it, but it's too serious a lot of the time. And serious, I can I'm serious when I need to be, but just generally speaking, that doesn't fit my profile. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm silly, <laughs> and I like to be myself, and I want to encourage y'all to be yourselves, so I can't do that if I'm not being myself, right? So, we got to be 100 with this. It's ASMR, silly style, Yashua, Jackhawk 9000, again. Okay, so, what I'm going to do first is jerk the camera around a little bit first, apparently. And then we're going to individually. I'm gonna individually open these fillets. <laughs> Salmon is my pretty much go-to. Preferred fish choice. Lots of healthy properties and protein and all of that. Gotta have your protein, baby. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have that protein. So, <laughs> we're gonna do all of these and I'm gonna season them up. Real nice, like, you know what I'm saying? Season them up. With the magic. With the magic of the ASMR. Season. I love y'all. I don't know if I told y'all that today, but I do. I love you very much. I love you so much. <laughs> I hope that you enjoy everything that you're seeing and you just laugh a little bit in your kitchen while you're doing your own thing. And we'll do our own things together, you know, with smiles on our faces. <laughs> I appreciate you very much for being here. All right, let's do it. Do it, do it. I can't even finish this. That's a good song, actually. <laughs> How many even know the song I was doing? <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it. Baby, look up at me as you. Talking about? I'm talking about duetting on TikTok. What are you talking? What are you talking about? What were you? Th what were you thinking just now? Huh? <laughs> As I said, say do it. I'm talking about duetting on TikTok. Get your mind out of it, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay. That went up a mountain. It's 
smells all fishy. But like the good kind of fishy smell, not like. Is that, is that like, does anybody know what I mean by that? If you're an avid fish eater, maybe it makes sense to you. Like, <laughs> um, some fishy smells are like stenchy and they smell bad, but like this is not, this is like a good fish smell. Shouldn't have to for it to be a lesson. <laughs> Could have happened. <laughs> oh. It's got juices. I'm all squeezing it. It's got juices coming out of it. See how pink it is? That's good stuff. That wild caught, gotta have wild caught, by the way. I mean, you know, too much risk with stuff that isn't wild caught nowadays. But, cut on it. Cut that meat, 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 about to season it up. Pop, pop, about to season it up. Pop, pop, pop. Boom. Okay. Next one. So, how are y'all doing? What's up with y'all? Have y'all been watching the news lately? I don't watch the news, but uh, I do TikTok. <laughs> I'm on TikTok, I'm a TikToker, I create content, so I'm on TikTok. And there is a whole lot of stuff there. And I don't know what y'all hear. Hang on one second, my beautiful, loving people. I love you so much. Hang on. AC on and I wanted to turn it off. I don't know if I was catching any interference or anything. Didn't want that. Did not want that. So, okay. As I was saying. This is for real um, for the purpose of meal prep. Meal prep super important. I don't know if you ever do it, but basically if you don't know what meal prep is, I mean, obviously it sounds very simple and, and, you know, but basically it's just you cooking big amounts of food for a uh, longer period, I mean, so it'll last for longer periods of time. You cook a whole bunch of food at one time and then portion it out so that you eat, you know, you're eating, you're eating that over however many days or whatever. And so I'm meal prepping. I'm also learning how to make jerky out of stuff like this. Meats and, well, yeah, meats. That's what you make jerky out of. <laughs> but um, I don't know if y'all know, but jerky lasts for a very long time, like months and months, you know, it can last for like a year. So, <laughs> making jerky. telling y'all this just because I've been looking at a bunch of like survival type of stuff I was asking what y'all were doing and um, one of the things that I'm doing in downtime or uh, you know in between time uh, I've been looking at survival stuff um, I'm not like uh, I don't know what 
what you would call it, but you know, like the people that are like conspiracy theory kind of thing. But I, I'm just someone who goes with their gut, and I feel like it's a lot going on in the world right now. And um, I just rather be prepared. Is the only thing. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's gonna pay to be prepared. So I've just been learning stuff, and this is one of those things. all kind of crap going on y'all heard that in australia like, i wonder if anybody watching this from australia i would love if you commented on this um but did y'all know that in australia right now they are freezing they have first of, i was gonna say that they're freezing people's bank accounts who aren't vaccinated and they also have like camps set up to take people who aren't vaccinated I, you know, and I remembered something that I heard like a year ago, a year and a half ago, maybe more, when all this stuff started, where they passed a law that says if they think you have been, in, not even like that, that, you, that you have COVID, but that they think you have been in contact with someone who might have had COVID or who might have been in contact with someone who has COVID. They can forcefully remove you from your home, forcefully remove your kids from theirs. It's just sick. But um, <laughs> that's a real thing. Just so you know, I'm, that's a real thing. Um, but in Australia, they have camps for them right now. And I mean, wherever you are, you know, I'm not here to like talk about political opinions or whatever, but like, you know, whether you have it or not, or want it or not, or whatever. Um, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. Just, you can just fucking take someone from their home. Like, that shit's not right. Even if I was gonna get it, like, I, that don't mean other people have to. That's a fucking choice. Or, you know, it should be a choice. Um, it is a choice. Excuse my language. <laughs> but it's a choice. And it should remain as such, because Otherwise, we're giving people too much power over us. That's just how I feel. How do you feel about it? I'm curious. We can talk about it without, like, having some kind of, you know, negative aspect of it. Just can know your opinion, you know. But other than that... If my hands weren't fishy right now, I would go put on the headphones to hear what y'all hear. Because this seems, I mean, it sounds interesting right here just for me. Like, the meat is something I never thought about before. I love how I just come up with things and incorporate them into the video. <laughs> this is kind of my thing, you know. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hi, welcome, love you. Oh, man. I really do do stuff like this a lot, though. Like, oh, it's dripping down my arm a little bit. Can y'all see it? <laughs> yeah, I just saw it in the camera. Uh, <laughs> you need this.
Okay. I don't even think I'm gonna edit that out. I've been want, I've been thinking about like edits and stuff and how people do their videos. You're not gonna tell me what y'all think about this, but like, I don't. I think authenticity, like just the realness, is what I want to show people for real. Like, I just want to be myself. Like, I don't want to have to be a character to do my videos. You know, because I'm not a character. Even my I do role play videos. If this is the first video you're seeing. And even my role play videos, like if I'm if I'm role playing to be, you know what I mean, a, the boyfriend of someone, right? And I'm I'm doing the role play, it's I'm just being myself. Like I'm just being me, but to a camera. You know what I mean? Like to I'm do, I'm I'm being me, but I'm I'm doing it, you know, in a story form, basically. Like, whatever scenario I think of, like my first video was um, when she comes home, right? And I thought about how a woman, you know, my woman should be treated when she comes home. So, I, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think that's how your significant other should be treated. And that's, I just had that concept in mind doing that video and... I incorporated sounds from the couches and fabrics and stuff like that to give it the ASMR um, feel, you know? And I've been doing that since day one. I just do my role plays and mix in the ASMR. And also, I love y'all. <laughs> Did I say that? I feel like people should say that more. I love y'all. I love you. I love you. Ah! I feel that love so much. I can't help it. It's so charged in me. <laughs> this is going to be so good, y'all. It's going to be so good. One more for the meat sounds. Meat sounds. Before it goes away to the seasoned tray, which is right there, you feel me. I got this fish juice all up me. Give me one sec. Y'all just like chilling with me in the comfort of my home. In the kitchen. Just cooking it up, chefing it up. It's what I do. It's what I do. Okay. Alright. So now. Oh, probably I can do this from this angle. I was about to say, I might have to switch the camera angle around to get it. I'm probably going to move the microphone, though. So, let's see how that plays out. Move the mic here. Okay. I'm move the fish here. Here, here. That was my Eric Cartman voice. I'll do that all the time. Just so you know, for y'all who don't know me so well just yet, I switch accents, characters all the time. I can't help it sometimes, you know. I started to start this video in my, in my English character a lot of days. I started to start the video like, what's popping? What's going on? What the fuck is him? <laughs> I don't know if I was going to say that. It was going to be something with an accent like that, though. See what I'm saying? All right, so we're going to do this kind of creative somehow. Wow, that sounds really cool to me. Hold on. Can y'all hear that?
awesome. Did y'all like that sound? Please tell me if you did. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. I'm not even gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you what to tell me. You know, because I don't want to, like, <laughs> force your answer. But I do want to know because I, I just really enjoyed that. <laughs> wow. That was, wow. Wow. <laughs> I like that. If enough of y'all like it, I might do a video with it. Because that was awesome. Little fish bone. Little piece. Pop. All right. So first things first. Garlic powder. Garlic powder is essential. I put it in almost everything. It makes everything better. Just so you know. Garlic powder. Let's go. Going very gently here. I'm being very gentle with it so that I get an even coat in one nice little layer. Imagine like someone's front lawn when it's snowing. You just want a light coat of snow over the lawn, you feel me? And it looks beautiful and sparkles in the sun, you know what I mean? Like that, it's just nah, more bad. I was about to do the Italian thing, but I had something in my hand though. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. <laughs> All right. After the garlic powder, you're gonna put in the basil. Basil. Um, earthy seasoning with phenomenal health benefits. Um, all kind of things you can use basil for. And uh, for a healthy tip out there, I know there's a lot of people that deal with anxiety um, out there, if you're one of them. Um, holy basil, it's called. Holy basil is a um, plant that is known to ease the feelings of anxiety for people. So if you want to get you some holy basil from, I usually order herbs from like either Purple Sage Farms or um, Amazon, basically. And you can get you some, make some tea with it. Basically just let it sop in some boiling hot water for like 10 minutes. Get all the properties in there and then just enjoy your tea. The tea itself is going to put a smile on your face, you know what I mean? But after just the tea effect, is the herb effect, feel what I'm saying? And it's phenomenal. So this is what it's looking like so far. Garlic powder and basil just so far. I set my seasons to the side that I'm done with when I'm done with them so I don't forget that I've used them and don't double coat it. <laughs> Song. Y'all just heard it for the first time before it dropped. <laughs> Consider yourself blessed. Oh, now we're seasoning. Oh, my bad, y'all. I'm missing the ASMR. Okay, here we go. Oops. even layer just like snow right over top boom coated oh yeah only a couple more now cayenne pepper puts the zingy in it puts the spice on the dice you know what I mean you only need a little bit of 
good stuff though. Don't go adding a whole bunch of this to your food. You you gon' unless you really like spicy food, you you gonna regret that one. But <laughs> spark sprinkle of it. Hold it high so it doesn't get thick. Hold it high so it does not get thick over you know on one piece of fish, you know what I mean? It just sprinkles down. Here we go. Oh yeah. Sprinkles on down. And you got a very light little coat of that. Y'all see the red tint, the orange tint? Like there's a little gathering of it right there a little bit. One evenly, the other ones, the other ones got it more evenly over. But mm, that's okay, because I like spicy food, so it's going to be good for me. But that, that's an example of just a little bit, you know, you know, put together right there. All right, so... Last but not least, most certainly by any means, is salt. Salt. You have to put salt last on meat. I put salt last on everything, just as a general practice, but on meat specifically. Why? Why? Tell me. I'm listening. Hold up, hold up. I'm going to tell you. No, no, you tell me. I'm listening. Go ahead, tell me. I'm listening. Go ahead. Oh, you want me to tell you? Me to tell you first? Oh, okay, I'll tell you. No, you tell me. You tell me. Go ahead, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell you. It's because soap closes pores. Um, so, you got to... You got to get the salt in last so that the other seasonings have time to get into the meat, into the pores of the meat, because the salt is going to close those pores. That's another survival thing for you. It's a painful one. You wouldn't want to do that, really. But if you ever needed to, like, <laughs> um, I feel like some people have, like, an uneasy stomach, and I shouldn't. <laughs> well... If you ever need to close a wound, I'll just, I'll just say that. If you ever need to close a wound and you don't have anything else, you can pack salt in it and you can cauterize it. You know what I mean? Instead of like, you know, using fire. So that's something to know. All right. Just getting this here pushed in. I just use a finger and just dabble on the meat. Hey, let's get those sounds. And make sure you do it all around. Get that on in there nice and good. Soak up that seasoning. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. It's a beast that is his seasoning okay so salt time salt day feel me salt bay that bitch salt bay that salt bay that salt bay that salt bay that you feel me salt bay that salt bay that salt bay that just make sure it's on there even you feel me oh it's getting even too for real though I'm salt band oh I'm salt band it up oh salt bay that salt bay you feel me? Salt bay that. I'm salt baying that, John. Look. Oh, that's the beauty right there, mate. That's the beauty right there, mate. That's why you do it right there. That's why I go, mate. All right, 
right, mate. Look at that. Look at that right there. That's a beauty. See what I've done? See what I do? I do it so perfectly, don't I? It's quite ravishing looking, isn't it? Just make sure to bite it, don't it? Just make sure to sink your teeth on it. Right on in it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck out of my alright. There we go. Look at that there. I should have been heating up the stove while I was doing all this, but I wasn't. I wasn't, so what I'm gonna do now is heat up the stove. And while I do that, I'm just gonna keep hanging out with you guys. I'm gonna switch this here around. Right? Oh, stove, damn it. <laughs> I've got water on the floor from when I was giving you the meat sounds. Oh, shit, that's all right. You know what, I'm not blaming on the accent I'm cussing so much. I don't mean to, I just, I try not to so much. I feel like it limits your vocabulary, at least the way it sounds, you know, but eh, it'd be all right for right now. You'll forgive me, right? You forgive me, yeah? All right, I love you. Did I tell you I loved you today? I love you. is indeed an apple juice bottle that I have filled up with vodka. Yes. What, really? No, it's water. It's, it's, it's water. But, you know, still, so good on it. Mm. to just turn it on high real quick so I can heat up the pan and while the pan is heating up I can be doing other stuff like seasoning the other side of this meat here which I will do now faster now though because I run through it with y'all already. Call the pop. Boom. Basil. Salmon, I love you so much. Look at you. I'm gonna, you're gonna do such good things to my body. You're gonna do such good things to my body. I'm gonna absorb it. I'm gonna fucking absorb all of it. I'm just gonna make that one. <laughs> I just love to see you. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. You're so wonderful. Hey, that stove is heating up now, so. Grape seed oil, but grape seed oil is good for a high heat. Not all oils are. Uh, now it's time for. All right, you just, you're just gonna fall down like you're just gonna make me use you. So I guess you wanted your turn. You can relax. Fine. So now it's the beverage time again. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. Bing 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 Cayenne pepper That cayenne pepper Oh Oh It's too raw Saute that bag Saute that bag Bada bing Should be getting hot. Can y'all hear it getting hot? 
music because I don't know if y'all can hear me over the sound of the sizzles. There's still one piece left. It's got to get cooked. But for right now, I'm just going to focus on this sand in here. This is what's going to do the trick. Because the king's hungry. The king's hungry right now. Yeah. It's about that time. It's about that time. Sink on it. Hey, yo, for real? Can I say something real to y'all? Oops, sorry. While we sizzle here and, you know, just here next to the sizzles. I really do love y'all. I know I say that like it's like a truth, but <laughs> I really do, though. And um, that's just why I want to tell you, like, wherever you're at in the world right now, things are changing. And I just want you to be, on, you know, prepared for things. Like, things are going to change. And let me just ask you theoretically, right? Theoretically. If, you know, they made it so deep where it's like you can't buy food at the grocery store unless you have the vaccine. However you feel about the vaccine thing, people who don't, when you get the vaccine, are eventually going to have to take drastic steps in order to eat. You have to eat somehow, right? So, I mean, you know, tell them what would happen then, right? And all I'm saying is you should be prepared for anything. I mean, and, like, make sure you got, you know, a way to eat. That's why I was talking about the jerky thing. Make sure you got a way to protect yourself and your family. Make sure you got, um, you know, just a little plan. You know, just like, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> whatever plan is better than no plan, you know. And I just want you to, you know, like, be able to defend yourself and not have it be such a surprise if something happens, you know. For y'all who don't know my story and you just been sticking around, kicking it with me, which thank you again for, by the way, I love you again. Um, if you just know, if you don't know, I did seven years in prison when I was 15. So, um, I know how to weed through some difficult situations. And all I'm saying is I, I have a, like a natural resilience kind of thing. You know what I mean? Where like, you can still see all of the joy and, you know, laughter <laughs> that comes out of me. I'm not like in the front with y'all that's what i was saying before is i don't want to do that it's not who i am you know to try and be something or like trend it out basically it's not my thing but i want you to know that stuff is real and things are changing and just i want you to be as prepared as you can be and remember no matter what yo that's what i was saying about prison too is that remember no matter what you gotta laugh like, while I was there in prison, there are a lot of people who are miserable all the time. And, you know, they don't see anything good about their situations. And I just saw something completely different. I just saw, you know, the fact that we had food when a whole bunch of people in the world don't. And we had a shelter when a whole bunch of people in the world don't. And, you know, basically, I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's tough, it's different, but, like, there was always something to laugh about. It's always, you know, something going on, whatever. But it's, it's how you look at things that determine the quality of the experience. That's all I'm saying. And I think even with things getting bad, you can still, if things do get bad, I'm not speaking that into existence at all. Like, I don't even like negative talk. If y'all know me, y'all know that too. I'm all positive and optimistic. And I, I don't even do negative anything. <laughs> but... But I'm only saying this because I don't want to say that I didn't say it, you know, while I had some people listening or whatever, you know what I mean? You never know what could happen, and I just, I love y'all. So I'm, I'm not just going to entertain you, you know, and not keep it real with you. That's not in me at all. I won't do that. Love you too much, you know? Love you too much. So, yeah, that's what that's about. Sizzle sound.
about time to flip them. Y'all ready to flip? That's pretty. Ooh. 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 Oh yes. Can y'all see those? Oh yes. 